Hey guys, what's up? Arthur here with another Autodesk Maya tutorial. Today I shall be covering the different types of lights. On my next video, I will show you how to light this scene using a combination of these lights. Alright, so I'm, I rendered out previews of the different types of lights. Um, the first light we'll be covering will be spotlight. Alright, this is the spotlight. Um, it's basically a light that casts from a direction and has a certain area limit. Now the spotlight is the most common is one of the most commonly used lights because it has really nice gradation. It casts a gradient. If you compare it to the directional light, the directional light has no gradient. So as you can see it affects the whole floor without gradating towards a darker area from a lighter area so intensity is really flat when it comes to the directional lights um yeah as you can see on this model it's really just a one big slab of light unlike in the spotlight it has it actually has gradation especially in these areas you can see from here uh, the spotlight looks like this it has several options here um, you have the cone angle affects the area of which it is limited to and then there is the penumbra angle which will affect the softness of that light and we will be covering drop off intensity and color in my next video okay and in if in the ray trace shadow options um it has a light radius if you compare it to the directional light let me toggle that so this is the directional light this is what it looks like um the directional light the directional light does not really it doesn't really matter what angle or where you place it in the scene it doesn't matter where um it will cast from which direction it is pointing from or to so yeah it has light angle it does not have um, light radius unlike the other lights most lights have light radius so anyways so again this is the spotlight this is what it looks like the render and this is what it looks like in the scene and this is the directional light and this is what it looks like in the scene. Again, the the directional light is not very strict with with wait wait wait. <clears throat> okay. Can't seem to be able to control my scene. Anyways, the direction wherever you place this um it doesn't matter as long as it is pointing towards the area you want it to be pointing to so if i change the the rotation values or the angle it's facing that's when it changes its effect upon your scene so the directional light is one of the cheapest lights as you can see it rendered in 22 seconds on my unit my unit is quite slow um compared to spotlight 26 26 seconds for the extra gradation all right not a very big difference but it will make a really big difference when we once we really start lighting this with all the values with all the color values with all its different angles and all the different geo on the on the scene so yeah that will make a bigger effect it's like saving up money you know like drop a penny or two every day it will just grow and grow anyways um enough about banking all right next light is our point light now take a look at this directional light render and look at the point light it's pretty much the same thing all the point light is doing is it's gradating a bit more but still you see the border of the floor because what the point light does it does gradate based off its its distance between it and the geo as you can see it has gradation but it affects the whole thing nonetheless it really goes 
it does not stop it does not have its stopping point it really goes all the way and it does hit this so yeah we there are times where you like that there are times where you don't like that but in this case I was going for something a bit more obscure so yeah this does not do the job but again the point light has its own values um, I have to select it there okay and well it's pretty much straightforward it's not a very interesting light yeah other lights have color values you can change especially the volume light which we will cover later all right next is the area light now this is one of the most expensive lights um it renders at 24 here for this scene for this particular scene now as you can see for this particular setup as you can see it deals with shadows a bit differently now it rendered really fast but that's because I did not fix the shadow value the shadow samples so it deals with shadows really differently if you look here it really brought a very realistic um, shadow casting effect if you compare it to other lights it's very solid directly to darkness but as for the area light it really brings out the form the depth and it really deals with a very nice algorithm for the for the casting of shadows and the gradation and how the light reacts to the environment it has very nice gradation if you compare to any other light yeah especially the spotlight the, the two are quite similar only the area light de deals with shadows better especially in this area as you can see here very differently also here on this side there cast shadows better they're all casted from the same angles and with the same values so when dealing with area lights you might want to pump up the shadow values a bit more that's what makes it expensive because it's shadow it's shadow rays you really have to increase the samples here in the ray trace options no where are its samples it's, oh yeah here shadow rays you might want to pump this up to 128 and that's when you can really get a really clean render of the shadows so yeah that's what makes it expensive compared to others where you get uh, reasonable quality at very low rate so finally the last one is my favorite one the volume light now the volume light looks like this and it has the most control personally I believe it has the most control there now the volume light is commonly used in games um, what it does is it emits from all directions just like this, the point light but this has a limit which gives it a really good piece of gradation now as you can see from this point towards the sphere here it will gradate from white to black you can change that here in your attributes it actually has a color range you can go from white to black or you can change this to a different color or put the color in between and give it that um, nice colored look let's try rendering this see what happens render camera one it is fairly cheap fairly <laughs> compared to the area lights and um, spotlights it deals with shadows a bit well too, but pretty much deals with shadows the same way the spotlight and everything else does. It's only the area light that really changes the algorithm for that, but yeah, as you can see, you can change the colors here. The... Yeah, wait. There. So the volume light has a lot of control towards color and it also has its own penumbra which you can change 
and all the lights actually have their own casting no I think it's just it's just the spotlight that you can change anyways we'll get that we'll get to that later alright so that's it those are the basic lights I hope this helped guys um yeah oh yeah and the last light is the ambient light now the ambient light as you can see I've been rendering with mental ray the ambient light does not work very well with mental ray and it does not cast light realistically like the other lights so I find it very useless and I will not be covering it in this guide so yeah I hope this helped if you like this tell me what you want to see and please watch the next video where we will actually go in and light this alright Cheers.